We're going to demonstrate how to use FLM for mass data upload. We begin with the form that has already been created. Here is a simple PDF form to allow an employee to add dependent data. You can see that the form is pre-populated with some header details based on the form initiator. The form has a drop-down list and some mandatory fields that must be entered before the user can submit the form. When the form is submitted, it will be sent for approval before updating SAP. In our example, we want to be able to use the same form process, the same approval process and the same SAP update logic, but to maintain lots of records at the same time. In some scenarios, we want to generate lots of individual forms for users to submit. But in this scenario, we want to enter the form data in Excel instead of in lots of individual forms. We have an option in FLM to generate an Excel spreadsheet. This automatically builds the spreadsheet based on the form definition that is already defined. When we open the spreadsheet, we can see that the same data is pre-populated as if this was a PDF or HTML form. We can see that the drop-down list options are filled from SAP automatically. Also, the spreadsheet has built-in date fields so we can do some data validation. We can add rows manually to the spreadsheet. In this example, we can add several children for one employee and add more rows for more employees. Another approach supported by FLM is to automatically pre-populate the spreadsheet with data for lots of forms. In this example, we've added the logic to find all employees in an organisational unit. So I can ask for a spreadsheet to be generated based on an organisational unit. Now when we open the Excel file, we see the rows for all the employees in the org unit. This time let's add some data. We're going to show the automatic error handling. Because we've already defined validation logic for the PDF form, that logic is applied by FLM to the Excel form. Here we add a row with a mandatory field missing and a row with a future dated record. When we're ready to upload the spreadsheet, we can do this in test mode first to see if there are any errors. We see that the FLM validation takes place on upload, so we can correct those issues in the spreadsheet and try again. The resulting report shows that there are now no errors. New form processes are now triggered for those three records which contain data. In this scenario, each record triggers a separate form to be routed for approval. The approver can approve or reject forms as normal. The data is now shown as a PDF or HTML form. From here, the normal form process is followed. On approval, the SAP HR system is updated automatically and we can see this by looking at the Employee Master Record.